Also, a warm welcome to all of you from here. We have today uh, our head coach, Jess Torp, and our midfielder, Christopher Olsen. They are ready to answer your questions, so feel free to, to answer the, uh, to question them. We do it in English, I think. The Danish journalists can do it in English as well. So feel free to <coughs> ask some questions. Yep. Hello. What is your view of... Sorry, James Robson, Manchester Evening News. What is your view of Manchester United at the moment? <clears throat> First of all, a lot of journalists ask me the same question. What do you think about Man United? Uh, I think my job is to think about my own team, where are they in the moment? And, of course, I think we all look forward to the game tomorrow. We have... Uh, Pretty good preseason. I know it is almost two months since we have played an official games, so we look forward to the game tomorrow. But of course, I've noticed that uh, Man United uh, in the last couple of weeks haven't been played maybe what they normally do. But in in, in this case, I also heard the the coach talking about now they have to win this Europe League tournament to get into the championship uh, or the Champions League uh, but uh, to answer your questions I think my view is on my own team uh, James Ducker from the Times uh, yeah I've just said um, United, United are quite vulnerable to set pieces. They conceded 26 goals in the Premier League in the past two seasons from set pieces. Is that something that you think you can exploit tomorrow night? Of course, we've talked about it. We have noted that. We have analysed that. Um, and I think as well, everybody knows that we are pretty good at set pieces as well, so of course, like we do in all the games, we will try to do that tomorrow again. Although we have been practicing a lot on both the defense, offense, stuff like that, we know the set pieces in those kind of games, especially those games international, uh, can be decided during the set pieces. So of course, we have worked on that. I'm not. I'm, oh, sorry, Richard Tanner, Daily Express. I'm not sure if you're aware yet, but United have got 11 players missing for a variety of reasons. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a very young team. That obviously increases your hopes of causing an upset. You would think. I've noticed that, and I just saw a couple of hours ago uh, the, the squad for for the game tomorrow, and a lot of guys will talk definitely about. Uh, Rooney is missing, uh, Fellaini is missing, whoever. But again, <clears throat> for me, it's more about how we are going to go into the game tomorrow. We know it doesn't matter which kind of player, young or old, the United will put on the pitch. We have to step up to our best. We have to play our best. We have to be on the 100% to have a chance. Um, I think as coach, we have also in this transfer window lost a couple of players. And as a coach, you would hope that some of the other guys will step up to take some responsibility. Now is the chance for some of those guys, maybe in Man United, they got their chances. So I don't know it's, if it is a, a good thing for us that they will play with a younger team. But again, I have to look to, to my team as well to see what they will do tomorrow. Hello, Tim Rich from the Independent. Um, you are going to. This club will charge about a hundred euros for all the fans to watch this game. Do you think they'll get a hundred euros worth of entertainment? Uh, I knew this question was coming. 
How can I say it? I think this is uh, probably the biggest game in the, the history of, of, of this club. And uh, first of all, I'm very satisfied that uh, the club had decided to play here in Herning. Although we could have moved the game to a bigger stadium to get more spectators, maybe earn some more money about it, we decided to play here. Uh, and I think I haven't heard a lot from our own fans about the, the price. And although what I've heard that everybody pay the same price, I think it is maybe a fair pipe price but I don't think I have to go into to an argument about this uh, I hope at least that everybody get uh, some value for their money Hello uh, James Cooper from Sky uh, you talked about playing I think your last competitive game in December can you just tell us the kind of routine what you've done since then and how either overcooked undercooked or cooked your players might be First of all, you could say we have, like I uh, told you a couple of minutes ago, we lost some players, we have got some new players in. So we have worked a lot about uh, the relations in between the players. Uh, we have had a pretty good pre-seasons. Uh, a week ago, we got home from our training camp in Dubai, where we played three pretty good matches against the three strong Swedish team. And I think we have done everything we can to be prepared for the game tomorrow. But Something is practice on the pitch, doing some test game. Another thing is playing the regular games, which we will miss to get the last couple of percent out of everybody. Um, but hopefully we are looking forward that much to the game tomorrow so we can uh, step up and hopefully give them a good game tomorrow. Chris, talking about the players, how big a game is this for you personally, but also for the rest of the dressing room, and how important to, uh, it's a cliche, to play Manchester United and not the occasion? Yeah, I mean, uh, not everyone in the team, but most of them is probably one of the biggest games they've played. Uh, and also for the club, it's, it's a huge game. Uh, but it's more, more you know, uh, about everything uh, around the game and everything before the game. When we we step on the pitch, it's yeah, it's just a game, you know. Uh, so I think uh, obviously it's a it's a very big game for for everyone, and we talk about it in the dressing room. But when we step on the pitch, I think it's it's gonna be different. Can I maybe say something to that question as well? I think it's very important that, that like Chris said, that everything and everybody around us talk about this game. For, for me, it is, of course, a game. And for now on, we are not here to, how can you say, to look for the, for the opponent, but we are here to show what we can. And that is a good opportunity for each player and us definitely also for the club. Where are we now? Andreas from Danish National Television and Radio. Uh, yes, uh, this is only the first of uh, two games. What would you describe as a good result? Could even a small defeat also be uh, satisfying for you? I think it's difficult to answer that question. Uh, I would like to get a result out of this first game so we still have something to work with for the second game. There is a possibility that we still can manage to get through to the next round for the second game. That could be a draw, that could be a small win. I don't know. Let us talk about that after the game. But the most important thing is that we still have something to play in the second game for me. David McDonald from the Daily Mirror. Um, assuming Wayne Rooney isn't injured, does it smack a bit of complacency from Manchester United to leave their star player and captain behind? Honestly, uh, I don't care who they come, what kind of player they come with. We have talked a lot about ourselves 
it is the first game in this spring season for us, which is very important. I know for everybody, it could be maybe the the biggest game for some of the players, maybe for the club. For me, for me, it doesn't matter who Man United will play with tomorrow. Um, for me, it is more important how we go onto the pitch, how we perform, and hopefully we'll for the club and maybe also for Danish football, give ourselves a good results. Michael van Paltike, um, yes, our, uh, about the score, uh, Johan Dalin, is he ready? And is Christian back in the score as well? Johan Dalin is not in the squad. Uh, he had been practice uh, a, a lot of times during, especially our session in Dubai. Uh, but in the moment, he had some difficulties still with his jumper's knee, so he will not be part of the squad tomorrow. Christian Bach is a part of the squad tomorrow. And ready to play, yeah. Everybody who's in the squad is ready to play. You have to see tomorrow. Um, United have often struggled this season when they've gone behind in games. Do you think if you can score first, you can really create some anxiety in their team? I think... <coughs> Sorry. Every team, whenever they go to the pitch, they will hope for a, a good start of the game. And definitely for a team like us, who haven't been played a regular game in some time, it will be nice to get in front. But although we know it will be a difficult game, and, and I think we have proved, especially during the, the last half year, a lot of those international games will be played that we, it is nice especially decided for us if we get in front in the beginning, although we still know what to do during the game. But of course, we would hope to get a good start. Definitely also at our home ground, so we could get the spectators as a very important part of our game as well. Just wanted to uh, find out if you sort of met Louis van Gaal before at a coaching seminar or on your travels, um, and what what you think of the pressure he's under at the moment. Do you think do you think it's fair? I haven't met him before. Uh, I look forward to meet him. For me, he is uh, as a young coach. You also have some of the older coach, which you look through whatever they have been doing during the recent couple of years and I think he have been doing a lots of good results, a lot of the good jobs. Uh, I know whenever you got into a club like Man United you are under pressure. Um, but as a young coach uh, I think you also want to achieve something, maybe get to a bigger club and to be playing against a coach like Louis van Gaal is maybe also for a coach uh, a big achievement. Although whenever we are on the pitch, neither he or I can do something about it. Uh, then it's the players on the pitch who have to see which team is the best. Christopher. With Jakob out tomorrow, how uh, is your role changed on the pitch? And what do you hope to, to bring to the team? Uh, well, uh, if I play, uh, I'm not sure. Um, it's not going to change too much. Uh, I do what, what I'm doing on the pitch, what I do well, uh, and what I can bring into the team. Um, and of course, um, when when Jakob is out, uh, some someone else uh, has to play uh, and uh, take 
take his chance and, and do well and help the team. Um, and uh, I feel now we have a very good squad. Uh, we've lost some players, but we've also taken in some, some quality players uh, who can help the team. Um, so it's not going to change too much, I think.